Okay, so today's video lesson is on basic rock beats. So this is, depending on, I guess, on your teacher, this is, you know, sort of the first two basic rock beats that most students would learn, depending on age and, and coordination and stuff like that. Um, but the idea behind this lesson is just to really grasp coordination on simple patterns. So these rhythms are pretty much in every publication you could find on shelves, but I'm gonna reference Frank Corniola's Rhythm Section Drumming. Awesome Australian publication. So definitely worth checking out. Um, I've bought two copies of it over my lifetime just because I've used it so much and there's literally a lifetime's worth of stuff in it. So yeah, definitely one worth getting. Um, and I think in the rock section, the first page of the rock section, which is pretty much right at the start, it's rhythm one and rhythm eight that we'll be doing. Um, so yeah, uh, without further ado, let's just get on the kit next door and yeah, get straight to it. The basic beat is just this. Now you would have heard that in so many songs, um, it's, it's everywhere. Probably 90% of pop songs on the radio, especially rock music, would, have, would be using this beat. Um, and a way I like to teach it, especially to the younger kids there, um, you know, usually for young kids, it's very hard for them to understand the coordination skills straight away and reading straight away. So I try and educate everyone on just what the drum parts are, and then we just yell it out. So I'll give you an example of that. So first of all, the hi-hat is this, the bass drum, and the snare drum. But in this case, we'll be using the left hand, so. Okay, and then what we do, normally when I teach this to, to young kids, makes it a little, little fun as well. We yell out, bass and hi-hat, hi-hat, snare and hi-hat, hi-hat, bass and hi-hat, hi-hat, snare and hi-hat, hi-hat. And we do this over and over again, it can be really slow. We do this over and over again until the coordination sort of sinks in and the, and the student can memorize this. Again, for you old, older students, I think you probably won't need to yell it out. We'll be able to, to work that out pretty quickly. And some kids can pick this up really fast as well, just from reading it. But it's just a good way to learn, teach really quickly um, and get the coordination skills there. So we'll do that one more time and hopefully you can play along to this. I'll do it a li little bit more of a steady tempo this time. Bass and hi-hat, hi-hat, snare and hi-hat, hi-hat. 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 Okay, and then when we start to get on to another version of, uh, or another variation on this kind of groove, then we can just say add a bass drum uh, to the second hi-hat, and that will become this. And I'll do that with the yelling out the, uh, the parts as well. Bass and hi-hat, bass and hi-hat, snare and hi-hat, hi-hat. Bass and hi-hat, bass and hi-hat, snare and hi-hat, hi-hat. Bass and hi-hat, bass and hi-hat, snare and hi-hat, hi-hat, bass and hi-hat, bass and hi-hat, snare and hi-hat, hi-hat.
Okay, so hopefully that was a pretty easy breakdown for you, and you on your way to learning uh, rock beats one and two, or one and eight out of rhythm section drumming. And um, yeah, you can put that together nice and easy as well. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.